queen. Pepper and her family are watching television. <laughs> and now, a special message from the queen. The queen! The queen! <laughs> this is the queen. Hello to you all. Hello, queen. Today, I have decided to give an award to the hardest working person in the country. I wonder who that will be. It certainly won't be you, darling. The hardest working person in the country is Miss Rabbit. <laughs> Miss Rabbit runs the ice cream store, the recycling center, the library. She drives the train, the fire engine, flies a rescue helicopter, and works the supermarket checkout. Phew! What a long day. Surprise! Ah! What are you not doing here? Miss Rabbit, I have a very special letter for you. Open it! <laughs> Miss Rabbit, please come to my palace to get a medal for all your hard work. Bring friends, all the best, the Queen. Ooh. Miss Rabbit has fainted. I can't visit the Queen. I've got too much work to do. Relax. No one will be working that day. The Queen has made it a holiday. Hooray! It is the day Miss Rabbit visits the Queen. Pepper and her friends are going too. We're off to see the Queen. This is the Queen's Palace. Hello? Is anybody there? Look at all that fancy stuff. Don't touch anything. Oops. What a big house. Lots of room for a queen to kick a ball about. Where is the queen? Queen, queen, where are you? Hello. Have you seen the Queen today? She's an old lady with a crown on her head. I am the Queen. Miss Rabbit has fainted again. Hello, Mrs. Queen. <laughs> Why aren't you wearing a crown? I don't wear it much because it's very heavy. Are you the boss of all the world? Not quite. Do you tell people what to do? Sometimes. Can you make teachers disappear? Oh, so many questions. The children are very excited to meet you, Your Majesty. I'm excited to meet all of you. And now for Miss Rabbit's medal. Ooh. This is the Queen's Award for Industry. Thank you. Keep up the good work. Three cheers for Miss Rabbit. Hip, hip. Hooray! Hip, hip. Hooray! Hip, hip, hip! Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> now for the party. To the garden. You've got a lovely big garden, Your Majesty. Do you play in it all the time? I don't have much time for playing, no. That's sad. Oh, dear. A muddy puddle. Never mind. We can walk around it. You can't walk around a muddy puddle. No. No. You have to jump in it. <laughs> oh, I see. That does look fun. Here one goes, then. Stop! <gasps> if you jump in muddy puddles, you must wear your boots, Your Majesty. Oh, dear. The Queen is not wearing her boots. Whee! <laughs> The Queen loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Everyone loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Island. Pepper and George are at Danny Dog's house. Captain Dog is telling stories of when he was a sailor. I sailed all around the world, and then I came home again. Ooh. But now I'm back for good. I'll never get on a boat again. Daddy, do you miss the sea? Well, sometimes. It is Grandad Dog, Grandpa Pig and Grumpy Rabbit. Hello. Uh, 
I can Captain Dog come out to play? What? We are going on a fishing trip. On a boat. On the sea. Okay, let's go. But, Daddy, you said you'd never get on a boat again. Oh, yes. So I did. Okay. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye. Well, there they go. Off on a boat without me. What are you going to do now, Daddy? Oh, I don't know. Maybe I'll clean the seaweed off the house. You don't get seaweeds on houses. No, of course not. We'll take my boat. Are you sure your boat's safe, Grampy Rabbit? Oh, of course it's safe. I built it myself. Oh, we don't need that bit. Off we go. I love going fishing. Me too. And what do you need for a fishing trip? Fishing rods? No! The picnic basket! <laughs> it's very good of you to steer the boat, Grampy Rabbit. Uh, but I'm not steering the boat. I thought somebody else was. Oh dear. No one is steering the boat. We're lost at sea. And look, Grampy Rabbit's boat is sinking. Don't panic! I've been in worse situations than this. Really? No, this is the worst. <laughs> we're saved! But we're stuck on a desert island. With just the sea and the sky for company. And we haven't got any food. Ooh, I've got a chocolate bar. Good. We should save the chocolate in case we get hungry later. Oh dear. Grampy Rabbit has eaten all the food. What a terrible place to be stuck. Is anyone else missing cheese? We've only been here five minutes, Grampy Rabbit. I'm going to put a mark in the sand for every time I think about cheese. We need to call for help. Call for help? What an excellent idea. Help! Grampy Rabbit is very good at shouting. Help! What was that? That was the call of the sea. Someone is in trouble. What can we do? We'll rescue them. We can use Granddad Dog's boat. Wait a minute. I said I'd never get on a boat again. But Daddy, they need rescuing. You're right. Just this once. I shall sail again. Life jacket's on. Oh, Captain Dog. Full sail. All our food is gone. There's nothing left to eat. There must be something to eat. Ahoy there! Hooray! Hooray! We're, We're saved! saved! Captain Dog has rescued the granddads. Land ahoy! Everyone off the boat. Farewell, everybody. See you in a few weeks. Daddy, where are you going? Me? I was just... Thinking of sailing around the world again. But, Daddy, you're not a sailor anymore. No, of course not. Leave the sailing to us, Captain Dog. Yes, and when they get lost again, you can rescue them. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and George are visiting Granny and Grandpa's house. Pepper is watching Granny Pig at her dressing table. You smell nice, Granny. Thank you, Pepper. It's my perfume, the lavender. It smells like your garden. That's because perfume is made of flowers. Hmm, Granny, I've got a very good idea. Really? Yes. First, I need some water. Here's your water. Right. Now I'm going to put flowers in it and make perfume. That's nice, dear. But only pick flowers from the grass, not from the flower bed. OK? OK. <laughs> Hello, flowers. Who wants to be in my perfume? 
I'm going to put you in my beaker of water. <laughs> Hello, butterfly. I'm making perfume. It's going to be the prettiest, smelliest perfume ever. <gasps> Lovely. Here is George. Stand back. George, I'm making perfume. Do you want to watch? <coughs> First, I pick a smelly flower. <sighs> Very flowery. Then I put it in my beaker. <coughs> no, George, you can't put grass in my perfume. It needs the smell of flowers. Smell. <coughs> Yuck. George does not like smelly flowers. Grandpa Pig is in his herb garden. Grandpa, Grandpa, smell this. <gasps> Pooey. It smells like pond water. It's my special perfume. I made it with flowers from the garden. <gasps> oh, yes. It's the most beautiful perfume in the world. Yes. Do you like it, George? No. George doesn't like the smell of flowers. Take this bucket, George. You can make perfume out of something else. I have got lots of lovely smelly things in my herb garden. This is rosemary. I like to use it in my cooking. Hmm. It smells interesting. <laughs> This is mint. Oh, that smells very minty. And this is lavender. Oh, that smells like Granny Pig's perfume. Wow, that's a strong smell of lavender. Ah, Granny Pig, you smell nice. Thank you, Grandpa Pig. Has George made some perfume too? No, Granny. He doesn't like the smell of anything. There must be something you like the smell of. <laughs> George has found a muddy puddle. <laughs> <laughs> ah, George, what have you got there? Have you made some perfume? <laughs> Actually, that smells quite nice. Smells lovely. I say, that is delightful. What did you put in it, George? <laughs> George's perfume is made out of muddy puddles. Ah! Perfumed a muddy puddle. Whee! <laughs> 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 Granny Pig, you smell evil. Even nicer than you did before. Yes, you should use perfumed a muddy puddle more often. <laughs> <laughs> the children's fate. Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. Mr. Bull is checking the school roof. Moo! Who put this roof on for you? Uh, you did, Mr. Bull. Lovely job. It will last you a lifetime. But it is leaking water. Look, it is going drippity drip. You need a new roof. Oh dear. Where are we going to get the money for a new school roof? We can do a school fight to get the money. Good idea, Danny. But who would run it? We can. Yes. The children can do it. <laughs> I can do the face painting. I can do the microphone. <laughs> we can have a mummy's and daddy's race. And I can sell balloons. Yes, we will have a children's fete. Hooray! It is the day of the children's fete. All the grown-ups are here. Hello, grown-ups. Danny Dog is in charge of the microphone. Emily Elephant is in charge of the bric-a-brac stall. Roll up! Roll up! All sorts of bits and bobs! What a lot of bric-a-brac, Emily. 
He will be busy all day selling it. Here is Mr. Fox. Mmm, this all looks very interesting. Balloons! Lovely balloons! Would you like a balloon, Madame Gazelle? May I have a red one? How much is it? How much have you got? Oh, of course! We are raising money for the school roof. Look, Madame Gazelle, I've got rid of everything. Wonderful, Emily. How much money have you raised? Money? Did you not get some money for the bits and bobs? I didn't need to. Mr. Fox took it away for nothing. <laughs> get your face painted here. Susie Sheep is in charge of the face painting stall. Hello, Susie. Can I be a mountain leopard, please? No. I can only do fruit. OK. Can I be... A plum! There. Peppa is in charge of the lucky dip. Roll up! Roll up! For your lucky dip! Moo! Hello, Peppa! Hello, Mr. Bull. You've got a green face. <gasps> I'm an apple. Ooh. Would you like to try the lucky dip? OK. What do I do? Just pull a prize out of the barrel. Everyone a winner. Mr. Bull has won a dolly. Can I have a go? Mrs. Cat has won a digger. Oh, do you want to swap? No, no thank, thank you. you. Mr. Bull and Mrs. Cat like their lucky dip prizes. <laughs> roll up, roll up. Freddy Fox is in charge of the Mummies and Daddies race. Thank you. It's all to raise money for a new school roof. I'm quite good at running. <laughs> it's not running, Daddy. It's a sack race. Oh. You have to get in the bag and jump over there. <sniffs> as fast as you can. Right. On your marks, get set, go! Oh! And they've fallen down. Oh. And they're back up again. Fun, wasn't it? Yes. yes. Lots, Lots of, of fun. fun. But really, we must thank the children for all their hard work. Thank, thank you, children. children. And we have raised enough money to buy a new school roof. Again. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> the Aquarium. Pepper is feeding Goldie the fish. Dinner time, Goldie. Goldie isn't eating. She looks a bit sad. I think she is lonely. She hasn't got any fish friends. Maybe Goldie could visit the aquarium. What's the aquarium? The aquarium is a place where there are lots of fish. Shall we go to the aquarium, Goldie? <laughs> that means yes. The family have brought Goldie the fish to the aquarium. I hope we can find Goldie a friend. I'm sure we will, Peppa. The aquarium has every type of fish. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Hello. How many tickets, please? Two grown-ups and two children. And one fish, please. The fish goes free. Does the aquarium have every type of fish? Oh, yes. Probably. Good. We're looking for a friend for Goldie. Well, I hope you find one. Enjoy the aquarium. Thank, Thank you. you. The first room has a tank full of little fish. Fishy. Wow. There are millions of teeny fish. Fishy, fishy, fish, fish, swimming in the sea. Who will be a fishy friend for my fish, Goldie? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Could any of these be Goldie's friend? Hmm. No, they are too small. Let's see what fish are in the next room. OK. Here is Candy Cat and her family. Hello, Candy. Hello, Peppa. Meow. What are you doing here? 
We come here all the time. It's better than watching TV. We like fish. <laughs> <laughs> We've come to find a friend for Goldie the fish. Oh, oh, what's in this tank? I can't see anything. Oh, oh, Daddy Pig, there's a fish right in front of you. Where? Whoa! It is a very big fish. Wow! <laughs> Do you think this fish could be a friend for Goldie? No, it is too big. Never mind. Let's go to the next room. What's in this tank? Dinosaur. George thinks he has seen a dinosaur. It's not a dinosaur, George. It's a funny kind of fish called a seahorse. You know lots about fish. Yes, I like fish. <laughs> Can the seahorse be Goldie's friend? Uh, no, it's too dinosaur-y. One more room to go. Oh, what's in this tank? Nothing. It's just green slime. Look. That green slime is algae. There must be some sort of fish in here. Whoa! There's a fish with big, long ears. It's a rabbit fish. It is Miss Rabbit, wearing a diving costume. Ooh. She is cleaning the fish tank. <coughs> Miss Rabbit is saying hello. <coughs> it is difficult to talk underwater. <coughs> hello, Miss Rabbit. That was the last fish tank. Oh, we haven't found a friend for Goldie. What's in the next room? This is the Aquarium Cafe. Oh, goody. My favourite room. Hello, Peppa. Did you find a friend for Goldie? No. Oh, who's that? That's just Ginger, my pet goldfish. He loves the aquarium. Oh, oh. It looks like Goldie's found a friend after all. Goldie isn't lonely anymore. Hooray! And Goldie can visit Ginger anytime she wants. <laughs> George's racing car. It is a lovely sunny day at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Pepper, George, Daddy and Grandpa are inside watching racing cars on television. Car number two. It's neck and neck coming up to the finish. What a lot of noise. This is so exciting. Car number two is a must. Ah, that's better. The race was almost finished. Switch it back on. Wow, that was an exciting end to a race. I'm so glad I didn't miss the finish. See, it's finished. It's such a lovely day. You should all go outside and play. Yes, Granny Pig. So, what are we going to play? George wants to play racing cars. I know. Let's build George a racing car. <laughs> Can you really make a racing car, Daddy? No, but Grandpa Pig can. What? Uh, okay. I'll make a racing car for George. <laughs> this is Grandpa Pig's shed, where he makes things. What have we got here? Ah, an old pram. No, George isn't a baby, Grandpa. We only need the pram's wheels, Pepper. Ooh. This bit can be the bonnet. And this can be the seat. What's your favourite number, George? George's favourite number is two. Oh, this racing car will be super fast. Hooray! Don't make it go too fast, Grandpa. George is only little. Don't worry, Peppa. This will be a pedal car, not a motor car. Ah! Next, we need a steering wheel. Last of all, you need racing goggles and a hat. <laughs> it's George's racing car! <laughs> Here are Danny Dog, Zoe Zebra and Pedro Pony. Hello, everyone. Look at George's racing car. Wow! 
you. And me. And me. I want to race too. Where's your racing car, Peppa? I don't have a racing car. Don't worry, Peppa. You can be the chief mechanic. What does that do? You fix George's car if it goes wrong. Oh, goody. <laughs> I hope it goes wrong a lot. <laughs> Let's start the race. Three times round the garden. Ready? <laughs> Steady? <laughs> go! Yeah. And they're off. End of lap one, and George is in the lead. What's all this noise out here? I'm trying to watch television. We're having a race, Granny. That's the end of lap two, and George is still in the lead. <laughs> oh, dear. A wheel has come off George's car. Where's the chief mechanic? Here I am. What do we do? Put the wheel back on. Okay, okay chief mechanic. mechanic. Dear, George is now at the back of the race. Pedal fun, George! Come, Come on, George! George. You've got the best chief mechanic in the whole world, too. Yes, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> the little boat. Peppa and her family are going on a picnic. I love picnics. Me too. The picnic spot is on the other side of the river. Oh, how do we get over there? We take a little boat. You call it by ringing this bell. Hello there! It is Grampy Rabbit in his rowing boat. Would you like to cross the river? Yes, please! <laughs> oh, stop, Daddy Pig. There's no more room. Oh. Bye-bye, Daddy. Don't worry. I'll come straight back for you. Bye. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. If you see a crocodile, don't forget to scream. Ah! <laughs> Picnic spot. Everybody off. Thank you, Grumpy Rabbit. Daddy Pig is still waiting to get across the river. Hello, Mr. Pig. Here are the wolf family. What are you doing here? We're having a picnic. Would you like to join us? Yes, please, Mr. Pig. Ah, oh, more passengers. Uh, women and children first. <laughs> oh, stop! Uh, the boat is full. Oh. I'll be straight back for you two. Bye-bye. Row, row, row your boat gently down the creek. If you see a big mad wolf, don't forget to shriek. <laughs> We're joining your picnic. Oh, goody. But where's Daddy Pig? I left him with Mr. Wolf. I'm getting a bit hungry. Don't worry. We've got the picnic. All aboard. Oh, stop, Mr. Wolf. Uh, there's not enough room for you. Oh, dear. I've got an idea. You wait here, Grumpy Rabbit, and we'll go over. All right. I could do with the rest. Mr. Wolf and Mr. Pig are crossing the river together. I'm really hungry now. Hooray! We're here! Hello, Daddy. Where's the picnic? Who? Oh, Grampy Rabbit is waiting with the picnic. I forgot the picnic! <laughs> you can't have a picnic without a picnic! <laughs> oh, you're right there. Uh, what about me, Grampy Rabbit? Uh, no room, Daddy Pig. I'll come back for you. <sighs> it is Mrs. Duck and her friends. Hello, Mrs. Duck. If you've come for the picnic, you'll have to wait for the little boat, like me. Or you could just swim across. 
just like you're doing. <laughs> Here's the picnic hamper, everybody. Hooray! <laughs> and here are the ducks. The ducks always turn up when we have picnics. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like some cheese, Grumpy Rabbit? Well, uh, I should really be getting back. Oh, I do love a bit of cheese. <laughs> <laughs> I love jelly. I love sandwiches. Strawberry. <laughs> <laughs> They've forgotten me. Here's some cake for you, Mrs. Duck. <laughs> Is cake your favourite? It's Daddy's favourite too. Oh. Where is Daddy? We forgot Daddy. Ahoy there! I've come to take you to the picnic. Hooray! Daddy! Pig! Oh, we forgot you. But I saved you some jelly. I saved you a sandwich. And George saved you a strawberry. <laughs> How nice of you all. Is there any cake? No, we gave it to the ducks. But look, Mrs. Duck has saved you a worm. <laughs> oh, oh, thank you, Mrs. Duck. <laughs> <laughs> the sand pit. Pepper and her friends are playing in the sand pit. <laughs> this sand pit is our desert island. <laughs> We will live here forever. <laughs> if we're going to live here forever, I want it to be nice. It just needs some houses. And roads. And shops. Dinosaur. <laughs> yes, George. The desert island can have dinosaurs too. What are you doing? We're making a desert island. It's got houses and roads and shops. Has it got trees? No. It would be nicer if it had trees. Where are we going to get trees from? We have to drive big trucks around the world and look for trees. Dinosaurs, you look after the island while we go and look for some trees. Brum, brum, brum. Pepper, Susie, Danny and Emily are pretending to drive around the world looking for trees. Rabbit, have you got any spare trees? Uh, we need trees for our desert island. Oh, I see. How many trees would you like? Enough to make a forest. There you go. Thank you. <coughs> the dinosaurs are having fun jumping up and down on the desert island. <laughs> the dinosaurs have broken everything. Naughty dinosaurs. Now we'll have to make it all again. Meow. What are you making? This is our desert island. With roads and houses. And shops. And trees. There. We will live here forever. Again. It would be really good if we had a lake. Yes, a lake. <coughs> One lake. But it needs water to be a proper lake. Oh, where are we going to get water from? We must fly around the world in aeroplanes. <coughs> Pepper and her friends are pretending to fly around the world looking for water. Pedro Pony is playing on the roundabout. Hello, everyone. Hello, Pedro. We've got a desert island with houses and roads, shops, trees and a lake. But we need water for the lake. Have you got some, please? I don't know what you're talking about. It's just pretend. We're playing a game. Oh, I see. You want pretend water. Yes. Hmm, I know where there's pretend snow. We can melt it to get pretend water. Where? On the mountain top. That's a slide. It's a pretend mountain. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's the matter, Pedro? Because it is a hot day, the snow has melted. Can't we pretend it hasn't melted? No, it's melted good and proper. Oh. oh. But look, over there, real water. Daddy Pig is drinking from the water fountain. Water! <laughs>
<laughs> Daddy, can we have some water in our bucket, please? We're making a lake. Oh, oh of course. <laughs> We've got water. Nice water. It is Freddy Fox. Hello, everyone. What's this? It's a desert island. We are going to live here forever. If only it had a flag. I've got a flag in my van if you'd like it. Mr Fox has got everything in his van. Uh, we only need a pretend one, Mr Fox. OK. How about these? Thank you, Mr Fox. <laughs> <laughs> now our desert island is perfect. We will live here forever. Again! <laughs> <laughs> Night animals! Pepper and George are having a sleepover at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Grandpa, where are you going? It's bedtime. Don't worry, Pepper. I'm just going into the garden to collect slugs and snails. Why? Grandpa doesn't like slugs and snails because they eat his vegetables. And the best time to find them is at night with this torch. Can George and me come too? Please? <coughs> OK, just this once. Put your coats and boots on. <laughs> Pepper and George are wearing their coats and boots over their pyjamas. You carry the bucket, Peppa, and I'll hold the torch. Don't stay out too late, Grandpa Pig. Okay, okay Granny, Granny Pig. Pig. <laughs> we'll put all the slugs and snails in the bucket. Ah, one little snail. Two little snails. <laughs> and a slug. Eh, slugs are yucky. <laughs> Here are Grandpa Pig's chickens. Sarah, Jemima, Vanessa and Neville. Hello, chickens. I need to put the chickens to bed. Night, night, chickens. Night, night, chickens. Night, night. Why aren't the slugs and snails in bed, Grandpa? Because they're up all night eating my vegetables. Some animals eat in the daytime, like my chickens, and some animals eat at night, like, oh, Mr. Fox. Hello, Grandpa Pig. Putting your chickens to bed, are you? Oh, yes. Nice and cosy in the hen house. Jolly good. Well, I'll be on my way. Good night. Good, good night. night. Now, as I was saying... Some animals eat at night, like... <laughs> oh, hello. Grandpa, there's a little animal in your bucket. Ha-ha, <laughs> yes. It's a hedgehog. They like to eat slugs and snails. Hello, hedgehog. <laughs> oh, he's rolled into a ball. Yes, Peppa. He is very shy. Come out, Mr. Hedgehog. Don't be scared. I like hedgehogs. They are very good at keeping slugs and snails off my lovely lettuce. Bye-bye, <laughs> hedgehog. Bye-bye. Are there any more night animals, Grandpa? Yes, there are moths. Ooh, they look like butterflies. Butterflies that come out at night. They like the torchlight. When it goes off, they leave. When the light goes on, they come back. <laughs> Can I try? OK. Bye-bye, moths. Hello, moths. Bye-bye, moths. <laughs> and if we leave the torch off, we can see another very tiny night animal. Where? Look up at the sky. Is it a shooting star? No, that is a firefly. Is it on fire? Oh, oh no, Pepper. It has a tummy that glows. Wow! Are there any big night animals in your garden, Grandpa? No. Oh, what's that? It's a big night animal. Oh, it's Granny Pig. <laughs> 
you are. Granny, Granny, we've been saying hello to all the night animals. <laughs> Lovely. But now it's time to say good night to them. Good night, night animals. <laughs> And it's well past bedtime for you little piggies. Yes, Granny Pig. Good, Good night, night, little, little ones. ones. Good night, Granny. Good night, Grandpa. Night, night. Flying on holiday. Pepper and George are going on holiday. They are packing their bags. You can't pack everything. But we need to take all our toys, Daddy. <laughs> Just take the important ones. Okay. I'll take Teddy, and George can take... Dinosaur. Mummy Pig is packing a big bag for the holiday. Wow, that's a lot of stuff, Mummy Pig. Are you sure we need it all? Yes, it's all very important. Okay. Ah. It is Susie Sheep. Hello, Peppa. Do you want to play? I can't play today, Susie. I'm going on holiday. Oh, where are you going? I don't know. Somewhere where there's holidays. <laughs> that sounds nice. <laughs> oh, Granny and Grandpa. Why are you here? We're here for Goldie the fish. We're looking after her while you're on holiday. Here's Goldie. Don't feed her too much, Granny. OK, Peppa. <coughs> it is Mr Bull in his taxi. He is taking Peppa and her family to the airport. <gasps> Hello, Daddy Pig. Let me take that bag for you. <coughs> Whoa! <coughs> That's heavy. Are you sure you need everything in here? Yes, it's all very important. Bye! Bye! Bye-bye! This is the airport. Goodbye! <gasps> Have a lovely holiday! Tickets, please! Here they are. Any bags? Yes. I'm afraid this one's a bit heavy. Don't worry. Just pop it on the scales. <laughs> Anything valuable in it? No. Any more? Yes. <laughs> you can take those little bags on the plane with you. Just join the queue over there. This is the x-ray machine. What's this, Daddy? It's a machine that looks inside things. Ooh. Put your bags on here, please. Look, it's my bag with Teddy inside. Dinosaur. <laughs> That's magic. This is the aeroplane that will take Pepper and her family on the holiday. Airplane! Meow! George loves aeroplanes. Welcome aboard. We hope you enjoy your flight with us today. Can I sit next to the window? <laughs> of course, Pepper. <laughs> yes, George, you can sit next to a window too. <laughs> this is Captain Emergency speaking. Is everybody ready? Yes, yes Captain, Captain Emergency. Emergency! Then let's go! What can you see out of the window, Peppa? It's all cloudy and rainy. Ooh, now it's sunny. That's because we're on top of the clouds. The plane is flying higher and higher. Oh, are we flying up to the sun? No, but we are going somewhere sunny. Pepper and her family are flying through the sky on their way to a sunny holiday. <laughs> the holiday house. 
Pepper and her family are flying to another country for a holiday. We hope you have enjoyed your flight. Please fasten your seatbelts. This is Captain Emergency speaking. We are about to land in Italy. Oh, Italy. That sounds nice. The aeroplane has landed. Hooray! <laughs> oh, dear. Pepper has left Teddy on the aeroplane. Now we need a car to drive to our holiday house. Here is the place to borrow cars. Hello. Buongiorno. Come posso aiutare una così bella signora? In Italy, people speak Italian. Oh, um, but we need a car. Non capisco. Let me handle this. I'm an expert at talking. <clears throat> we need a car. Uovo. Not eggs. A car. Um, no. Not flowers. No. Vroom, vroom. <laughs> ah, auto. Hey, hey. Vroom, vroom, beep, beep. Well done, George. <laughs> this bag is heavy. Oh. Are you sure we need everything in here, Mummy Pig? Yes. <laughs> it's all very important. Are we going to get lost like we always do? <laughs> no, Peppa. The sat-nav will tell us the way. Benvenuto all'auto del futuro. In Italy, the sat-nav talks in Italian. Proseguire sulla... Maybe we don't need the sat-nav. Uh, let's go this way. Remember, Daddy Pig, this is another country. They may drive differently here. Oh, oh, driving is driving, Mummy Pig. It can't be that different. <laughs> Porco. Driving in Italy is very different to driving at home. Hello! Yes, we're on holiday. Daddy, why are they beeping their horns at us? I expect they're saying hello. Can we say hello back? Of course we can. Hello! Everyone is so friendly here. <laughs> Pepper and her family are on their way to their holiday house. Ah, we're almost there. Yes, I can feel myself relaxing already. Teddy, I left Teddy on the aeroplane. Eh, what? We have to go back for Teddy. Uh... Oh dear, it is a policeman. Hello, officer. I don't know what I was doing wrong, but I promise I won't do it again. Good day. I am returning this young bear. He was left on the aeroplane. Oh, thank you. Teddy! Have a lovely holiday. Here we are. Pepper and her family have arrived at their holiday house. <laughs> what have you done? got in this bag, Mummy Pig? It's all important stuff for our holiday. A lovely plant, our computer, tin food, hot water bottles, some winter clothes in case it gets a bit chilly, the telephone. Let's ring Granny and Grandpa. <laughs> Granny and Grandpa Pig are looking after Goldie the fish while Pepper is on holiday. Are you sure we're feeding Goldie enough? I'll just feed her a pinch more. Hello? Hello, Granny. Can I speak to Goldie, please? It's Pepper for you. I miss you too, Goldie. <laughs> it has been a long day. Now it is time for bed. Good night, my little piggies. Pepper and George are fast asleep in their holiday house. It is the first morning of Pepper and her family's holiday in Italy. Ah, holiday. Daddy Pig is up bright and early. I'll just go for a little walk. Ah. Good morning, Mr. Pig. I see you have found the swimming pool. This is Signor Goat. It is his job to look after the holiday house. <laughs> Daddy fell in the water. It's not funny. It is quite funny, Daddy. 
Ho, ho! I suppose it is a bit funny. This is my daughter. Hello, I'm Gabriella Goat. <laughs> I'm Peppa Pig. Tell us if you need anything at all. We'd like to do some sightseeing. The village is very pretty. <laughs> I will show you. OK. I'll just change out of these wet clothes. I don't look like a tourist, do I? You look perfect. Is everybody ready? Yes, Daddy Pig. Then let's go. <laughs> this is Gabriella's village. <laughs> Here is the shop of my auntie. Can I send a postcard? Who is it for? A goldfish. A goldfish? Maybe a postcard of the sea. Yes. Goldie the fish likes water. Bongo drums, carpets, garden gnomes. Who buys all this rubbish? Tourists. Oh, hello. Buongiorno. Mummy Pig is buying lots of things to take home. Mummy Pig, we haven't got room for all this in our suitcase. Don't worry, Daddy Pig. They sell suitcases too. This is the village cafe. Ciao, Gabriela. My uncle makes very good pizza. You eat pizza in Italy? Pizza is Italian food. Oh, goody. I like pizza. A little bit of tomato, a little bit of cheese, into the oven and... Into my tummy. <laughs> Maybe we'll let them cook first, no? OK. Pepper, let's write the postcard to your goldfish. Yes. I miss her very much. To Goldie. Wish you were here. Love and kisses, Pepper. <coughs> you can post the card here. Goodbye, postcard. Fly home quickly. Pizza, pizza, pizza. Mmm, yummy. Pepper loves pizza. Everybody loves pizza. <coughs> Did you like that, Teddy? Yes, it was delicious. Magnifico, Uncle Goat. There will always be a special place for your pizza in my tummy. Thank you. Ciao. Goodbye. Oh, dear. Pepper has left Teddy behind at the cafe. What a lovely, relaxing holiday we're having. Oh, dear. It's the police. Leave the talking to me. Hello, officer. I don't know what I did, but I won't do it again. Mr. Pig, you're Teddy. Teddy! Thank you. Just doing my job, signora. Pepper and her family have arrived back at their holiday house. Time for bed. Can we ring Goldie the fish, Mummy? OK. Granny and Grandpa Pig are looking after Goldie the fish while Pepper is on holiday. I do hope we're feeding Goldie enough. Hello? Hello, Grandpa. Is Goldie all right? Goldie is fine. I sent her a postcard today. Has it arrived? Oh, not yet. But I'm sure it will get here soon. Mm. Night, night, Grandpa. Night, night, Peppa. <laughs> Pepper and George are fast asleep in their holiday house. The end of the holiday. It is the last morning of Pepper's holiday in Italy. I'm just going for one last walk. What? Going for one last swim, Mr. Pig? Uh, yes. One last swim before I go home. I want to stay on holiday forever. Holidays are nice, but they don't last forever, Pepper. Think of all your friends waiting for you back home. Yes, I miss my friends, and I miss Goldie the fish. Can I telephone Goldie? OK, Pepper. Granny and Grandpa Pig are looking after Goldie the fish while Pepper is on holiday. Hello? Hello, Granny. How's Goldie? <coughs> um, she's eating well. I sent Goldie a postcard. Does she like it? The postcard hasn't arrived yet, Pepper, but I'm sure it will be here soon. Oh, we're coming home today. See you later. 
later. See you later. Susie Sheep has come to play with Peppa. Hello, Susie. Hello, Granny Pig. Is Peppa back from holiday? Not yet, Susie, but she's coming back today. Oh. Susie is missing Peppa. This suitcase is heavy. Are you sure we need all this stuff, Mummy Pig? These are important souvenirs from our holiday. Okay. Is everybody ready? Yes, Daddy Pig. Then let's go home. Bye-bye. Ciao. Ciao. Oh, look. Oh, dear. Peppa has forgotten Teddy. What a lovely holiday. Yes. I have never felt so relaxed. Ah, hello, officer. Whatever I was doing, I won't do it again. Mr. Pig, here is your teddy. Please, take better care of him. Teddy! <laughs> We're going home today. Susie Sheep cannot wait for Pepper to get back home. Hello, Susie. Is Pepper home? Yet? No, Susie. But she's flying home now. Flying high in the sky. Flying high and high and high. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it's sunny when we get home. Pepper's family have arrived home. <laughs> Granny Pig, Grandpa Pig, Goldie! What has Grandpa done? Um, she has filled out a bit, hasn't she? Naughty, Grandpa. You fed her too much. She was always hungry. We've brought you some presents from Italy. Look, Grandpa, a beautiful garden gnome. Oh, you really shouldn't have. Granny, has my postcard arrived? No, Peppa, not yet. Oh, that's my postcard. Hello. Oh, it's only Susie. I've really missed you, Peppa. <laughs> I've missed you too, Susie. <sighs> Peppa and Susie are best friends. <laughs> Here is Mr. Zebra, the postman. A postcard all the way from Italy. Ho, ho, we got here quicker than the postcard. Look, Goldie, I sent you this postcard from our holiday. Did you have a nice time on holiday, Peppa? Yes. Did you have a nice time? It rained every day. Oh, goody. That means there'll be muddy puddles. <laughs> Peppa and Susie love jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Holidays are nice, but coming home to muddy puddles is even better. <laughs> Mirrors. Mummy Pig is fixing a big mirror onto the bathroom wall. Lovely. <coughs> George thinks there is another little piggy in the bathroom. It's a mirror, George. Mirrors are shiny. That's why you can see yourself. <laughs> George. What are you doing? George is looking at himself in the big shiny mirror. It is very shiny. <laughs> Come on, George. Let's find some more shiny things. <laughs> Daddy, we're looking for shiny things to see ourselves in. Have a look in a spoon. Ooh. Peppa and George can see their faces in the shiny spoons. <laughs> Faces look funny. Now, turn the spoon around. I'm upside down. And turn it round again. Now I'm the right way up. How does that work, Daddy? It's simple, Pepper. Concave surfaces reflect light waves inversely to their origin. And Is it magic? Uh, yes, it's magic. Susie Sheep has come to play with Peppa. Hello, Peppa and George. Hello, Susie. Look at that. <laughs> it's a spoon. It's a shiny spoon. Look, I 
can make you go upside down. <laughs> Ooh! How does that work? It's magic. My daddy says so. Ah! Let's find some more magic shiny things in the garden. <laughs> <laughs> George has found a muddy puddle. Ooh, it's shiny enough to see our faces. I can see the sky. There's a cloud. <laughs> Here are Pedro Pony and Danny Dog. Hello, Hello everyone. everyone. Did you drop something in that puddle? No. We're looking at the sky. But the sky is in the sky. <laughs> Look at this spoon. That's my face. It looks funny. Whoa! Now I'm upside down! How does that work? It's a funny magic mirror spoon! <laughs> I know where there are some big funny mirrors! Really? Wobbly mirrors in a tent! Where are these wobbly mirrors? At the fair! The parents have brought the children to the fair. Roll up, roll up! See my amazing wobbly mirrors! <laughs> the tent is full of big wobbly mirrors. Ooh, what's happened to my body? <laughs> You're a wobbly jelly! <laughs> wobble, wobble, wobble! How does it do that, Daddy? It's very simple. Illusions of optical differentials by convex and concave surfaces generate patterns... So it's magic? Uh, yes. It's magic. Look at me! <laughs> I've gone all squishy! <laughs> I've got a long neck, like a giraffe. <laughs> this mirror looks normal to me. Daddy! Where's your big tummy gone? What tummy? <laughs> it is Mummy Rabbit with her baby twins, Rosie and Robbie. Hello, sister. How are you today? Very good, sister. Mustn't chat for long, though. I've got customers inside the tent. Aren't the mirrors amazing, Daddy Pig? Wow! I can see two of you. What do you mean? I can see you in the mirror. But there's no mirror. Is it magic? Silly Daddy, it's Miss Rabbit and Mummy Rabbit. Oh. I suppose we do look a bit the same. Well, we, we are, are sisters. sisters. <laughs> <laughs> Pedro is late. Peppa's playgroup are going on a trip to the museum. Oh dear, Pedro Pony is not here. I bet he's still in his pyjamas. Pedro is asleep in his little bed. Pedro likes sleeping. Pedro, wake up. You'll be late for the school trip. <sighs> OK, Mummy. Come on, Pedro. We don't want to miss the bus. <sighs> the bus is still waiting for Pedro Pony. We can't wait any longer. The museum will be closed. OK, let's go. Oh, there's no one here. Maybe we're early. No, Pedro, we've missed the bus. Oh, come on, let's catch them up. <laughs> Pedro is always late. Look, there's a car chasing us. Oh, hello, Mrs. Pony. Stop the bus! Pedro is here! Sorry, Madame Gazelle. I overslept. Oh, Pedro, you do like sleeping. <sighs> yes, Madame Gazelle. To the museum. Nothing can stop us now. Uh, Madame Gazelle, I need the toilet. And me. And me. Me too. This is Grandad Dog's garage. What will it be? Petrol or diesel? <laughs> toilet, please. <laughs> Are you sure you wouldn't like any petrol? No, we haven't gone anywhere yet. <laughs> <laughs> right, next stop, the museum. Um... Where is Pedro? 
Petrol pumps. Interesting. Oh, come along, Pedro. Bye. I hope we get to the museum before it closes. Here is the museum. Mr. Rabbit is locking up for the day. Hello, Mr. Rabbit. We would like to see the museum, please. Hmm. We were just closing, but I can give you a quick tour. This is the king and queen's room, full of old stuff. Ooh. Hmm. Interesting. Here are the giant dinosaurs. All very nice. Ah. Amazing. Space, rockets, and all that. Wow. And through this door is the most amazing place of all. It's the fantastic world you live in. Oh. Thank you, Mr. Rabbit. My pleasure. Goodbye. Right. Time to go, children. Where is Pedro? Oh, Pedro. A mollusk. Very interesting. Come on, Pedro, or you'll miss the bus. Where is everybody? The bus has gone. Uh, don't worry. Miss Rabbit will realize she's left us behind. Bong, bing, boo. Bing, bong, bing. Bing, bong, bing, bing, bong, bing, bing, bong, bing, bing, All together now. Nobody has noticed Madame Gazelle and Pedro are missing. Bing, bong, bing, 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 bong, Oh, have you missed the bus? Mr. Rabbit, I am a teacher. I need your car. Come on, Petro. We'll take a shortcut. Hello, Doc. <laughs> Madame Gazelle and Pedro have arrived back at the playgroup. Where is the bus? Maybe we're early. Yes, Pedro. For once, you are early. Wow. Pedro is early. Yes. And you're late, you slow coaches. <laughs> Pedro likes being early. Everybody likes being early. 